prepared to drop the anchor. We are currently at anchor and uh, I just wanted to show you some daily housekeeping tasks like provisioning yeah. and laundry. For sandy bottom you have this wonderful water. It's early morning here in Santa Ponca and uh, we will soon take up the anchor. Isn't it a beauty? Let's give you a short summarize of our story. Our story began in Yarmouth on Isle of Wight, where we bought a Woki 47 pilot saloon. We named her Frida and Visby is her home port on Gotland. We are a middle-aged couple that left our business life to go sailing. We have sailed more than 7,000 nautical miles along the Atlantic coast of Europe, out to the Azores and into the Mediterranean Sea. We will show you our sailing, the boat works we do and the destinations we see. Experience wildlife, historic sites and local cultures together with us. We are not sponsored by anyone, so it helps us a lot if you become a subscriber, a thumbs up or a comment makes us really happy. Big thank you to all of you that watch our videos. We are Anderson Gitta and this is our cat Litsa. Ilya Gavina, Mallorca Balearic Islands. Waking up at anchor. Morning! We are uh, near Isla Gavina. I actually think it's a little rock that you see over there. And, uh, well, we have been sitting downstairs and, and drinking coffee for some time, but now we decided to go up and have a look. We have been moored or anchored on the other side of the island, so we know this place. We've been here before. It's quite nice and the water is crystal clear. So I'm looking forward to do some snorkeling. But before having fun, we need to do some provisioning. She's really dirty there at the side. We are going for a little dinghy ride to the grocery store in the in the town, which I finally have learned that it's called Jordi. See what we can find there. It's about one nautical. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the anchor buoy? The anchor buoy shows where our anchor is located. Life vests that we are wearing is uh, some cheap life vests that we found in uh, Swedish uh, cheap car parts. Uh, outdoor shop called Biltema. Uh, they are not inflating so you can swim with them how many times you want and they will still work. Uh, so we thought that was a good life vest to have in the thing. Now left the beach. Now in the town of Jordi. I'm going to see if I can find a grocery store. Suspected a quite a lot of hotels here. Not much of a real town, what I can see, but uh, hopefully I can find what I need. That was a little fun. There are pink salt lakes here. Salinas. Colonia de San Jordi. Maybe I can learn it now. Still on my way to the supermarket. This is downtown. <laughs> Not much. A few restaurants and a few touristic shops and hopefully a supermarket. And here it is, I found it, Regal Supermarket. It was actually quite nice supermarket. And here on the other side, I have my way back. I had a little more time to enjoy the flowers in the gardens. We now are walking along the beach. Dingy over there. And just is waiting somewhere. So, quite crowded beach here. Close to the town. And actually, it is quite crowded in front of us because we have like a cafe, and I suppose there is a parking behind it. But apart from that, there's kilometers of sandy beach with almost no people on, which must be very unusual for Mallorca. Oh, I can see under us. It's just about to get impatient. We forgot to bring the water. It's still on the boat. Last step of our grocery shopping, provisioning. 
dinghy ride back to Frida, which is over there. And I bought some watermelon and I think I'm going to pick it up right away because and this has been melting away on the beach. You know how we do grocery shopping while at anchor. Litza wonders, where is my plate? I only see two plates, where is mine? Actually, put some tuna in your bowl, so you have you have got your own plate. This is quite nice. So sit here like this on anchor, watching the sunset, and eating our own caught tuna, and I had some uh, langostinos in the freezer. Beautiful sunset again. Okay. We truly enjoy evenings like this. The next day we show a little more of practical anchor life. We are currently at anchor and uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, we are doing our laundry. Yeah. Is it okay with We are making water. It is not really necessary, but it's always good to make some water when you can. And we can because we have quite a lot of solar power. So right now we produce equally much energy as we consume. So you can say we are making water and doing the laundry for free. Only the power of the sun. While I do the housekeeping, the cat's in keep watch. In her favorite chair. Huh? Mm -mm. A later, when the laundry is finished, etc., then we will try to do a little bit of diving. I was snorkeling a little bit yesterday and I could see at least 30 fish just under the boat and we are right next to a quite large Posidonia patch and uh, I have learned that above the Pos Posidonia there is quite a lot of fish. You can see the dark area there. That's, that's how you can tell where the Posidonia are, at least in, during daylight, that you can see those dark patches. And uh, for a sandy bottom, you have this wonderful water. And there's the fish. I can see them. It's black. They look black from above, but they're actually white with a little dark spot on it. So wonderful. Anders has been up on foreleg to put up some extra lines. For my laundry. We have, you have a lot of lines there now. Okay, perfect. Because it's laundry day on Frida Visby today. Despite we are at anchor. And another tuna fish day. So we get tuna fish for lunch. I try to <laughs> limit the tuna fish for once a day. <laughs> I didn't thought that would be a problem. It's like a postcard here. Is there something in there? Yeah. Is it the dinghy with the doggy coming back? Ah, it's the doggy. Ah. Is it better there? Better view? No, it's On a Sunday or windy day like this, it usually just takes an hour or two to get the laundry dry. That's a bit depressing to sail in with a ship like that. Before, actually, a little bit behind us, they left and now they came back. Well, maybe they are on, on their way back to their own spot. I think they're... Or just out having fun. I think they're out having fun. Well, it's fun to see it with all the sails. It's, oh, yes. be it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. That is one of many fish. 
we have under the underneath the boat. And they're beautiful when you see them. They are almost white. They just shimmer of blue and silver. Our buddy boat Tintamara has arrived. They have come. As usual, we had a very pleasant reunion with our friends. But the next day we sailed separate ways again. Beginning to get to the buoy, and then I will get the buoy aboard, and then I will leave the rest of the anchor. So I was just taking this number off. So I have a little problem to reach there in front. And as soon as we finished, Anders will uh, furl out one of the sails. We actually forgot our headset that makes that we can speak to one another, one another. So let's see if we can do this without it. The old fashioned hand signal worked, and you can use it as well to tell us if you enjoy the video so far. And this is taking the main out. <laughs> we are barely moving, so that's why the alarm goes. A solid wind. But I just have to help the boom to go out. This is his special rigging when he needs to handle the sails by himself. Right, when I'm down in the sail locker handling the anchoring. went fairly well despite we forgot our headsets yeah, yeah it was I think we needed one. it was really easy and hardly any wind at all but we did it without the motor yeah. the noise you hear is from the water maker and I think we have the generator we have the rough generator yeah because we don't get any sun no it's it it's raining. cloudy it's even raining now it started to rain more or less as soon as I climbed up from the locker and had stowed everything away, then it started to rain. So, see how long it lasts? We are sailing here from uh, the town over there. So we are leaving Colonia de Centauri and the, the beach Calvina and uh, heading for the first anchorage when we arrive to Mallorca, Santa Ponca, because we are actually on our way back to the mainland now. It's not many times we have sailed in rain. No. I know it rained when we arrived to San Miguel at Azores. But... Yeah. And it rained... It rained a little bit when we were on, were on our way to Cabrera as well. But it's not many times. We have managed to avoid it. And this sound, it means that I should stop talking and start sailing. Today it's lamb soup for lunch. We are motoring, so it was easy to heat it up in the microwave. Today it's really kind of gray. And quite uneventful. Approximately two hours left, and it's actually quite boring on the sea today. Though this sail is not that inspiring, it will get us to the western side. Now we are going in towards Santa Ponca, passing those massive rocks again. Prepare to drop the anchor.
somewhere there. We will try to find a spot. Yes, please. I think they sound like wasps and are about as annoying. With them out of the way, we can go back to, to find a good anchoring spot. Successfully anchored. We are on our way to Santa Ponca uh, to throw out some trash and uh, maybe buy some egg. All the groceries. There are two beaches in Santa Ponca and we are heading for the smaller one. Pizza got some friends here. Oh, yes. Chaparama trees. Just stayed at the cafe so that he can watch over the dinghy. He had locked it in place, but you know, it's those little locks. It's not difficult to, to take it, but at least it's not that you can just take it and go. Well, this town is also a bit touristic as most towns from Mallorca. That's not really my cup of tea. But that was a bit fun. Look at this house. Look at the paintings. <laughs> Maybe not the prettiest, but uh, well, reminds me of some uh, gift papers for kids. Small beach where we left the dinghy. It should be about around 550 meters to an Eroski store. And if you had taken the large beach uh, at the end of the color, then there should be a Macedonia, uh, which maybe is bigger, but since we only need egg and yogurt and maybe some, some uh, fresh greens, it's not necessary for us. The Roski Rapid. Let's see what we have. It's pretty okay. Not a super big store, but I got most of what I wanted. But I bought a lot of eggs, so now we should be able to manage for quite some time. Uh, they didn't have yogurt without sugar in it, which is it's not what we want, but well, sometimes you have to just take what you get. So now we have been grocery shopping. We had get rid of the trash. It's very good. There's quite a lot of bins right here on the beach. And uh, we even had time to have a little small beer on, on a cafe. Uh, unfortunately, it's raining. But uh, we didn't want to wait for it, so... And it's just a few hundred meters to, to the boat. She's out there. Right there. We will go back to Frida after a short visit in Santa Ponca. Poncha. I'm not quite sure how, it, how to pronounce it. It's quite shallow. I think you can let it down now. Sometimes it's really difficult to estimate how deep it is when the water is so clear as here. And it's quite fun. They have like boat ramps and over there is one that has a little Dinghy garage with a ramp down to the water. Quite nice. Over there on the other side are some really large hotels and during night they have uh, lots of lights. In there is the main beach. Probably an empty today. Another beautiful sunset view. It's not quite down, but it will go down behind the mountains over there. But look at this. Look at the colors. And now it has kind of cleared up. Now when it's dark, you can see all the lights at the hotel I was talking about. They certainly don't save electricity over there. I think it's a hotel. The rest of Santa Ponca is a bit more normal light. The 
next day, Katja and Lisa helped us to uh, inspect the extra preparations we were doing. We got some additional lines here. And that's because Anders is preparing the Jenacker. So, our biggest sail is here on deck. Uh, because we plan to leave tomorrow tomorrow morning early and it will be a light wind downwind sail so we thought we should prepare this big boy and it's as curious it has tangled somehow oh no it's loose now uh, the question is That's always a big question. Ready to start hoisting. Job done! It's early morning here in Santa Ponca and uh, we will soon take up the anchor and uh, start sailing towards Ibiza but first we're going to have some breakfast. Anders is now taking away the safety line that we had, had uh, tied around the Jenniker so it wouldn't blow out if a sudden gust or came during the night. So, prepare the Jenniker. Check on coffee on the Jenniker. Time to raise the anchor. Now we are on our way from Santa Ponca here or Pancha here in Mallorca towards back towards Ibiza and I think we'll lay anchor in the same bay as we did just before we jumped to Mallorca. So following our old track and it looks like we are going to get a great sailing today. Uh, except that it might be a little too little wind, but that's why Anders has prepared the Jenacker. You can say that the different sails are like different gears on a car. So the Jenacker is our highest gear. Bye bye, my orca! We were motoring out of the bay, but as soon as the breeze came, it was time to hoist.
why it smells pot slow. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly must say that it's kind of a reoccurring theme. I've been editing when we have been out driving with our torpedo and it's kind of said quiet but slow uh, quite a few times. Okay, but this time it's the Jenica, our biggest sail. Isn't it a beauty? It's a nice It is, but we use it very rarely, <laughs> mostly because it's too difficult to carry up. And Anders has an ongoing project where he's going to make like a bag that you can attach to the side, but it's not quite finished yet. Sailing like this is just wonderful, and this is what you think of during the winter. The wind died down, so now we are motor sailing, and uh, we are back at Vitsa. And we are actually planning to go back to the last anchorage that we had before we left the Vitsa. This is nice. We have arrived in our favorite bay in Ibiza, Sharaka. And this was part one in our turning back to the mainland. So in the next episode, we will continue first to Denia and then to Valencia. Thank you so much for watching all the way to then in the next episode. And night sail. And we go up high. I'm from the castle in Denia. Yep, high up. <laughs>